Hello students and welcome to Economicspedia. Today we are here to have a discussion or rather to say to give you some of the strategic tips that you need to take in the last few days of your preparation. As many of the mails have been coming and many of the messages have been coming asking for what should be the strategies that are need to be followed in the last 60 days. So this is the main discussion of today's session. So let's proceed forward and give you some of the interesting and helpful tips that are going to help you. Now the first one is 80-20 rule or which is also known as the Pareto principle. Let me elaborate on that perspective. If you can complete the few most vital tasks in 20% of the total time extended, you can achieve 80% of intended result. As you can see with the help of a diagram, I've tried to explain it. Now, that's the 20% of effort we are talking about. This 20% of effort should be put in very quickly and in a very right direction. Okay? So, the number one rule is this 80-20 rule. Let's have a discussion on this rule in a bit elaborated way. So what are the things that you have already done? It consists of number one, that is you have followed the syllabus and according to that you have prepared yourself. Number two is that reading relevant books. This is also the thing that you have already done. Number three is preparing notes or handwritten notes. Number four is all you have to do with all these things is to revise and revise again. Okay. But now is the time when we have to focus on the 20%. In this 20%, you have to keep few more things in mind. So number one under this 20% is to get your basics right. Study graduation and post-graduation books closely in order to get a clear concept. Number two is practice answer writing in English. As you know that this Indian Economic Service exam is conducted in only one language that is English. So better practice it, practice writing the answers on your own. And this will also help especially the people coming from Hindi medium background. And number three under this is to write the answers to be in a concise and structured manner. Don't write unnecessary things that are not asked in the question. Stick to the question strictly. So let me now give you some of the important areas from the Indian Economic Service syllabus that you need to focus. All right. So starting with general economics paper one so here under microeconomics you know the paper uh, the syllabus of the paper have been divided into several segments so under microeconomics you need to focus on the theory of consumer demand then comes market as you have seen that from the past years that many of the numericals have come from this area either from consumer demand or from market and number three in microeconomics is the welfare economics Although we have seen that a number of questions coming from welfare economics is not much, but again, as it is a very important subject from microeconomics, you cannot ignore it. And now coming to the econometrics or the statistics portion, here uh, we need to focus on the regression, correlation, and under regression, we have a classical linear regression model and multiple linear regression model. So, these are the important areas that you need to focus your extra attention to, okay? And along with this, Lorentz curve and Gini coefficient is there. So here you need to focus on the derivation and what are the ways that you need to find the area below the curve. I hope all of you are familiar with that. Now moving to general economics paper two. So here, economic thoughts. It's a large segment and it again covers few of the topics. So here I have covered the important topics that you need to go through. So starting with the classicals, then come Marxist, then come Keynesian school of thoughts and monetary school of thoughts. 
next from the macroeconomic section although this macroeconomic section is a huge section or uh, here i have just given you a very small topic that is keynes and islam and scheme but you know what are, what is the syllabus so in this you can also include the theory of money here you not only need to focus on the keynesian theory of money but also on the classicals and the monetarist okay so how they have counter analysis of the other theories that you need to focus okay next come growth and development i know i know that this is a huge portion and this covers a lot of models so that is why i have written just models so here what you need to do is try to go through the past year papers take a tab on the questions that are coming and then from there you select the models that you are thinking are important for this year all right so prepare in this fashion and one more thing is that if you try to include any graphs while explaining the model try not to explain the graphs you know why because again of the time constraint you know that the time is very much limited as compared to the number of questions and you need to finish the question so you cannot afford to elaborate on the diagrams okay and third uh, and the fourth part that is trade bop globalization global institutions i know that i have included here everything but here again everything is important right like uh, under trade there is hexerolin model or there is uh, stolper samuelson theorem or there is ricardo so these trade models you need to again go through very minutely under bop you need to go through the munn fleming model and how the exchange rate are adjusting okay due to appreciation and depreciation of the currencies and what are its implication in the real economy and for the global institutions this imf world bank or wto mnc multinational corporations so these are again some of the topics that you cannot ignore so you need to go through each and everything in a detailed manner but yet in a very time efficient manner okay so moving on to the next paper general economics paper 3 here the important subject important area that you need to focus is from the public finance and under public finance there is public debt and public expenditure so these two are very important areas from where the questions have been coming on from the uh, as we have also seen in the past years paper so these two are the important area now another important area for general economics paper 3 is the environmental economics and under this environmental economics if you go through the past years paper then you will find that the evaluation method or the technology the technique from there the questions are being coming okay so this is again the important area from the environmental economics you need to focus so now moving to the last paper of economics that is the indian economics i know i know what you are thinking that there is not written any of the topics right well let me tell you that indian economics the subject and the syllabus for the indian economic services is huge you have to agree on this even based on the past year paper you cannot exactly predict the type of question that can come in this in this year's exam so here better we are dealing with some of the tips and the hacks in order to write the answers so let me focus on that area that you need to write the answers relevant to the question now there are some students who write or exaggerate on a particular topic unnecessarily don't try to do that as the second point implies that that don't elaborate unnecessarily because again that same time constraint thing is there you cannot afford to do that and it's very much foolish to do such a thing because if you do that then that creates a image about you to the examiner okay and you don't want a negative image to be created so you have to be very much attentive in this area and again the answer should be crisp and concise 
so the structuring of the answers should be should be done in a much concise way and for the extra something extra for you is that you need to read the newspaper even though the last few days are there uh, many of you are thinking to skip the newspaper for once in a while don't do that because from the general economics paper we know that ex uh, questions are coming even from the current affairs so better keep a tab on that so you have to be updated regarding not only just for the country wide news but also for the world wide news okay so that is all about today's discussion and what are the strategies that you need to take for the last few days i hope this video was helpful to you and if it was please hit the like button if you are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon in order to never miss any update from economics pedia in economics pedia we try to cover every important aspect from a student's perspective as well as from the other areas as well and if you have any kind of personal doubts or queries you can send us through our official mail id that is ecopedia02 @gmail.com you can also follow us on the social media pages facebook instagram and youtube the links are given in the description box do have a look at that and let us know what do you think and what are your strategies for the last few days in order to prepare for indian economic services we'll be waiting for your replies thank you thank you for being with us